Today is March 21st. I'm very, very excited when I can see sunlight outside. After I had my breakfast this morning, I went to check my garlic that I planted since November and they're sprouting up like big sprouts like this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start planting my summer garden again with my herbs and some cucumbers and tomatoes and all that. I am so, so excited. So by doing that, I was in the mood for some fish curry and today I'm gonna to be making fish curry for my family and I want to share this recipe with you guys there's many many way how many many ways how to make fish curry but this is one of my um, recipe there, there is a few different ways that I make it but if you come on down I'll show you the ingredient in this bowl here I have some gray snapper washed and um, cleaned and they're cut into small pieces and guys you can see the freshness from this you can see how fresh that is if you want to go closer Jess it's so fresh and I will put it together with all these ingredients I have here one whole tomato I have some mariwiri pepper for flavor and I have the different colors which will give nice flavor I have red the yellow and the green color and here I have a big onion I have some green onions that I clean and wash and I have some fine thyme that's very good in curry and I wash that as well and I'm gonna use um, four cloves of garlic these ones are huge so they're like more than one if you if you count and then one thing that from back home that we usually put in our some of our fish curries if I don't have it sometimes I would leave it out but this is called moringa and in back home we call it um we call it saijan but it's known as moringa and people sometimes eat the leaves this is the vegetables that grow on the tree and it's, it's long and it has some good health benefits the vegetable and the leaves people use it for detoxing they use it for the cleansing of the skin and a whole bunch of other things if you guys want you can look it up okay. um it's called moringa but we back home we used to call it saijan and this is how it looks it looks like it a looks long like a, okra yes it looked like a long okra jess but what we do we don't put it a whole thing like that we cut it up into small pieces and then we'll put it into the fish curry but um again like i said it have very good health benefits so guys, I just want to, uh, this is one other step that I want to show you guys. Today I'm going to add some coconut milk into my fish curry. And I like to use fresh coconut. And this is the fresh coconut that we bought from the store. Guys, you can get it from any store. Now there, you can find them in No Frills. You can find them in Walmart. And you can find them in some West Indian or Sunny. Indian stores. Yes. So this here or Asian stores you can find them into. So I break it in half and then I break it back into another half. You can use um, something heavy to break it like a hammer or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'll take out the inside of the coconut like here. Like you just have to take something and then push it out like that. And so easy. Some of it doesn't come out that easy, but this is this one comes out very quickly and that's what I'm gonna do for the remaining and my husband have a very very good um, food food grinder and juicer and it, this thing can do some amazing amazing work we used it for the, um, the dog, dog puri. puri yeah so we're gonna we're gonna take all the coconut pieces passes through that machine it's gonna squeeze out all the milk for me and then that milk I'll use for the to add to the fish curry and I did I was talking about the moringa and I didn't tell you guys that you can find this in any freshco um the sometimes you can find them in um no frills or walmart or any indian store so those are the places that you can find them in I just went to uh, Freshco and I saw it and I said, you know what, I'm going to add it to my fish curry. So sometimes I add it when I have it, sometimes I don't. So it's optional too. Uh. 
Okay, guys, this is our machine for grating, squeezing that coconut milk out. And this is where we're gonna feed it. And my handsome husband is helping me to do this. This is his gadget. So I like to let him do his own thing. And this is here where we're putting in the coconut. He's cutting it to small pieces. And this here is where the milk is coming out, guys. Look, pure rich milk. And it's putting out the, the rest of the dry coconut out in this side here. So it's not mixing together with the, the, the coconut pieces and the milk. It's just the milk is coming out one side and the dry piece of coconut is coming out another side. So when I'm ready, whatever is left in here is gonna be pure milk that I'll be adding to my fish curry. And this is his gadget, his omega um juicer processor whatever it is it can do so many things guys so guys these are the garlic and stuff that we were we are peeling to blend up to make that fish curry <laughs> we're putting into the fish curry over here is one teaspoon of turmeric over here is one teaspoon of roasted jeera and over here is one teaspoon of mixed masala and over here is two teaspoons of lala's curry powder thank you jess so this this here is all the goodness the green seasoning that we blend the thyme green onion garlic one of the marbury pepper and we just add a little bit of water so it can blend properly i'm gonna add that all of that to this spices and that's what we're gonna cook in this curry and that's a lot of goodness i just want to season the fish a little bit before we we put it into the um mixture because we want it to have some flavor as well and i'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here for the fish so it's not going to be um, like tasteless. It's going to be nice and um, marinated. And into this, I'll add a little bit of water because we don't want it to be like a cake. We want it to be on the wet side. 
So in the same blender cup that we blend all the goodness, I'm just rinsing this with some water. And that water we're going to um, mix this up into. And guys, this is a whole bowl of goodness that we're going to put with spices and um, good ingredients that we're going to add to this fish curry. Also, you can already smell it. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing because we have all the spices in this bowl. It's not cooked yet because once it's cooked and um, it's on the stove with the heat, it's, all the flavor is going to infuse double the aroma of it is right now because when you put this into heat, it always brings out the flavors double and triple time more than what it is before you cook them guys i'm gonna put all the goodness into the oil and you can hear that sound jesse watch your camera from the um the steam so we're putting all that goodness into the pot and i'm gonna stir this up the oil is nice and hot and i have like a spoon of coconut oil in there that i was warming up because i don't like the um to put in the mixture into very hot oil because it gets it will splash up and it start and when it's hot it usually steam up all over and i like to put it in when the oil is a little bit um like i just put the oil into the pot so guys this is already smelling beautiful because the heat is going under the spices and it's opening up all those flavors in um double triple up of what it usually is before we put them into the heat. Yeah, it already smells like the part is already done. Yeah, so we're gonna let this cook because we don't want to add the fish into the raw um, spices. We're just gonna um, let it cook for a little bit until the color change to a little bit darker color. It looks and, yummy. Yes, it looks yummy So and it smells great. So once this get a little bit darker, we're gonna add the fish into here. Okay guys, so we're gonna check this to see and the color is perfect. It's browning up just the way I want it to brown up. So all that rawness from the spice is already cooked out. I had add a little bit of water, like a um, little bit less, like a quarter cup of water I add to help it to cook. And now this whole place is infused with this beautiful, beautiful aroma and, and spices. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add the fish into this. This is smelling so good. I wanna eat it right I now. I can't even imagine. It just smells and so good. It smells so good that I can't wait eating it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before I add the fish, I never like to blend up my onion. I like to cut the onion and put it it put it into the mixture um after it's finished cooking for a few minutes. Hey, Mom. Can you put it over there? Thank you, Nali. So I will add the onion now. Um, and I'm gonna turn this up. This is a whole big onion that I cut up, and I like to add it at this point. And then now I'm gonna add in the fish, and this here is the fish we're gonna add into here. And this is nice, fresh gray snapper, like I told you guys. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna taste yum too. But when it's seasoned with the um curry it's gonna taste way better yep so i will add this in here and then i'm gonna turn it up make sure that the fish is coated with the mixture all over and guys this is smelling so great today is saturday and i like to make something very special for my family on the weekends and Today, they request that I make fish curry, so that's why I'm making it. And I was in the mood for fish curry a long time, like way past. So you can see how it's getting into when. the um, sauce. Yeah, so now I'm coated, it's coated all over. And at this point here, what I wanna add, I'm gonna add my um, moringa, because this might take a longer time to cook. You see, I peel off the skin. And I'm adding it into this, into here. And I got 10 pieces. So I'm adding them here so they can cook in into that nice mixture. Make and sure you add it when you put in your fish because it's really hard. So it's going to take a long time to cook. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it here. And now the, the fish is starting to catch on the bottom. And I don't want that to happen. 
So the next thing I'm gonna add into here is my one whole baked tomato that I cut up. And this is gonna help to balance off that fish taste. And sometimes what I do when I'm making fish curry, I add green mangoes, but today I don't have any green mango. And the store that I get it from, I didn't wanna go there today because it's a little bit way far from where I live. So I didn't bother to go get green mango. So the tomato can work for that. Or if you have any tamarind or anything like that, you can add to balance off that fish taste. But the tomato will do well. Only if you want like a sour taste. Yeah. So um, I'm going to add that. And guys, I'll add my coconut milk now. And then I'll add the okra coming down to the end. I'm adding okra into this dish too. So it's going to be a fish curry with a lot of good things into it. So the, the coconut milk that my husband made, this is what it looks like. This is all fresh coconut milk, no nothing added, no preservative, nothing. This is where we break the fresh coconut and we make that. And the rich, rich, creamy milk we're going to add into this fish curry. The one thing before I add the milk, I forgot, is the salt. And I don't want to make a fish curry without salt. Even though I add some salt in on the fish before I put it into the pot, you got to have a good fish curry with a nice taste. So I'm going to add this much. And when it's cooking down, I'll taste it again to see if I have to add anything more. And look at that, guys. looks beautiful. The fish with the um, tomatoes on top. And now I'm going to go in with my two cups of coconut milk. And look at the top, how that rich yet. And I'm going to add this into here. And this is all that we need for this. Now because the um, fish is cooking, you don't want to turn it too much. You're just going to like just shift it around because I don't want the fish to start mashing up. So I'm going to leave this to cook on medium to slow heat. And I'll cover it and then I'll come back and check it out and see if I need to add more salt or anything else. Look at that rich cream coconut milk in there. And this is gonna come, this is gonna, the fish is gonna cook into that coconut milk and all that rich seasoning. It's gonna be, how Jess? Great. Yum. And you wouldn't wanna miss out the coconut oil, um, coconut milk part, because it makes the curry more and it flavors the fish. It makes the curry creamy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hope you, I hope you like this dish too. <laughs> okay, okay guys. Okay guys, let's check this. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. What I like to do at this point, I like to shake it so it's not gonna burn to the bottom because when you turn the fish, it's gonna, I don't want it to mash up. And look at those tomatoes, the smell and the aroma here is awesome. So I would like to taste at this point for, um, for salt because if I have to add, this is a good point for me to add it in. So I'm gonna just try a little bit. It's super, super hot. So I just want to, um, to try a little. Oh my God. That tastes amazing. So guys, at this point I have some okra and I have some frozen one that I usually keep when I'm cooking fish curry or cook up rice or something like that. I would add it in or soup or anything. So I'm gonna add them in here because I don't like to overcook the okra. And um, I will add in here as well my um, mariburi pepper. I already blend one up into the seasoning. Um, and I'm gonna add these here. These are fresh ones that I'm just gonna rinse them and I'm gonna add them with the stem because I don't want them to burst. I just want them to cook into the fish curry because I will take those on my husband and we will eat those on top of our food because the kids cannot handle them. They're too hot. The one that I blend in the season will be just enough for the entire curry. But because we like to eat extra spicy food and when the you, for fish curry you need that extra boiled pepper. So I'm adding those at this point because the curry is close to finish and um, we don't want it to overcook. And the coconut milk guys give that curry a nice sweetness and a nice rich creaminess to it. So we're gonna cover this down and let it cook down for a little bit more if there is too much gravy so the okra can cook on the pepper. And then once that's done, 
we're gonna give it another 15 minutes i'll take it down and show you guys how that looks but right now i'm loving it i am just loving it the pepper the okra the moringa is in the corner there the tomato this is gonna be a wonderful dish okay guys so this here is the fish curry that's done and you can see it's steaming up i just took it off the stove this here is the okra and this is the moringa and i have my boiled pepper here with the tomatoes on the side and guys it is smelling so good and it looks amazing had i taste some of the gravy it smells so good so i want to cut the fish and show you guys how it is look look at that whoa literally so, behind the camera i'm drooling yeah so this is all cooked nicely the fish is so soft and guys i'm gonna dig into that piece of fish and what we do is like you mix your food up with a little bit of the tomatoes a little bit of the okra and everything but i want to taste piece and it's super super hot so i'm gonna just get this little piece here and guys i'm tasting for you guys so this is what my saturday lunch is today my whole family is going to enjoy it. there's so much of goodness in here there's some healthy stuff there's okra tomatoes there is beautiful rich creamy coconut milk that's freshly made by myself and my husband and there is moringa which is good for your health so cheers guys how does it taste mm, 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 mm. Oh my god the fish is so fresh the flavor from everything there is just the right balance guys it's so so rich this curry with the coconut milk you can taste that sweetness of the coconut milk guys this food is so rich i just have to take another bite of the um the tomato and the gravy mm, mm, mm. this reminds me of my mom's fish curry and my mom is a great cook and if my curry is close to what my mom fish curry tastes like i know i did a good job so guys i'll be enjoying this fish curry with my family for my lunch and um i just want to show you guys i just want to show you guys how the rest of it look okay guys so this is the fish curry the rest of the fish curry and as you can see there is a lot of pieces of fish and all the ingredients the we put inside like the okra the moringa the, the pepper, fish the pepper yes. the and it's so so good so we're gonna tomato. enjoy this you can eat it with roti you can eat it with rice or you can just have a piece of fish curry just like that but guys the flavor and the richness is bursting out from everywhere so guys I'll be enjoying this. Until then, I'll I'll um, catch you guys later for my next video. Bye for now.